I'd like to, to present today on some of the work that I've been doing in order to develop new tools that we're able to, to better understand what our exposures are, uh, especially to uh, respiratory uh, viruses, including SARS-CoV-2. And being able to, to monitor what our exposures are within the air, uh, given that we have uh, this airborne uh, virus, uh, presents some challenges in how we're able to do that just because of the levels in which we are trying to assess and the, the challenges with being able to quantify incredibly low levels. Uh, so this means that we can't use conventional technologies uh, that require uh, hundreds of to thousands of different copies. We've developed a wearable technology that we've called the Fresh Air Clip that passively collects uh, respiratory virus onto a silicone surface uh, and doesn't use any electronics to be able to do so. So this has now allowed us to personalize air monitoring uh, that we can look at early uh, warning signs for transmission risk uh, using this technology. To support a lot of this work, we originally started by deploying some of these uh, surfaces across uh, COVID uh, infection uh, positive wards within hospitals in the early phase of the pandemic. And with both of these samplers in every room that we went to, we were able to then pick up um, this COVID or uh, the SARS-2 of two laden uh, virus or droplets. So this really then set the precedence to say that we could now have a wearable type of device that use the same type of diffusion-based um, passive sampling. And once we're able to have this technology from measurement to um, exposure uh, estimates, uh, we then deploy those in a range of different environments to uh, be able to use this as an exposure assessment tool. So we're pairing all of these wearables uh, with collection of saliva uh, and being able to then measure what um, the relationship is between exposure and then conversion um, into infection. 